Hello everybody, this is me Gabriel and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to install the Chinese input method editor the Chinese IME on Fedora Linux. I already have a video on this channel uh, teaching you how to do this on Arch Linux but I've never teached you how to do this in Fedora so this video will enable you basically to type in Chinese when you're using Fedora. So the first step is to open the terminal using Ctrl Alt if you're in KDE or just type terminal in GNOME and do sudo dnf install fctx5 Chinese add-ons. You don't have to have fctx5 installed because it's already gonna install it as a dependency so just press S and so now what you're gonna do is to uh, do sudo nano uh, slash etc slash environment and now you're gonna copy and paste this here I will put this text on the description of course now you're gonna type I am chooser and this window will open you're gonna choose use fctx5 and then you're gonna press exit here I'm just gonna pause the recording and then come back because I have to log out and log in so I just logged out and logged in actually did it automatically uh, I just had to log back in so now when you start your uh, session you're gonna notice that there's gonna be uh, an input method icon here so just right click it just go to configure and on this what I learned is that instead of just doing everything in one group you should instead just do it in like two groups so here's the thing my main input method I mean my main layout will be Portuguese so I'm gonna edit here and I'm gonna take English out and I'm gonna put apply so the group one should be the main layout of your keyboard if I mean if your keyboard is uh, Chinese then just put one group with Chinese here but in my case I have one layout with Portuguese and then I wanna have another layout with Chinese so now we're gonna come here to group 2 and I'm gonna delete this here and I'm gonna search for pinyin and I'm gonna edit here so just apply that and now you're gonna come here to the options and I'm gonna enable cloud ping and I'm gonna configure oh no wait sorry 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 yeah <laughs> you're gonna configure the backend to be Baidu because it's better for cloud uh, pinging stuff alright so I think everything is done so let's just do another thing before we test it out let's come here to keyboard on the settings and virtual keyboard you're gonna put fctx5 Wayland launcher because some apps will need this in order to work so now I think everything is done so let's just open K right, K right here and okay I'm typing it all so now I'm gonna change it to Chinese and how that's a how need some yeah yeah so it works as you can see and the cool thing is that for example if I wanna type like Mao Bui which is a singer uh, Chinese singer very famous uh, it's gonna use the internet uh, data because this is like the correct name for him and it's gonna use the internet data in order to notice that you're actually trying to top mop we and not something else so yeah guys that's it so that was the video i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was helpful to you see you next time bye bye